Yeah, today uh, this was a science hackathon in which uh, we wanted to actually encourage students to bring out their scientific spirit and the scientific sense of inquiry in which we actually did an online um, you know a quiz on the basis of which we selected certain students who were then uh, you know asked to submit uh, hands on uh, projects now these projects were connected to uh, particularly their uh, the, the issues that plague sikkim as a state and they were asked to uh, submit their presentations and to give their views and solutions on that particular problem that was posed to them and um, 70 students uh, pa participated in it and submitted their projects out of which uh, after a very uh, you know a very deep deliberation we selected 20 students who were then asked to come and present their project in front of a jury who would then actually be asking them questions and you know uh, kind of trying to find get an in-depth understanding of what they felt actually about the topic on which they were uh, doing the uh, you know on which they had actually written their project so uh, this is the culmination program in which uh, today is basically the 13th of December is the culmination program in which students actually came from different schools all over the state and uh, presented in front of a jury and uh, act actually answered questions that were posed by them um, we found i mean we found the students to be extremely confident smart and knowledgeable the research more than the you know the presentation the research that had gone into creating those uh, presentations were really in depth so that is something that we need to actually acknowledge and understand. Like we're saying now, there were only six winners. But all of these students worked really, really hard to create such a beautiful project which they submitted to us. We really can't reject any of these. So which is why for these 20 students, finalists, we are going to be creating a very beautiful coffee book. Uh, which is going to be uh, actually showcasing their projects. We'll be considered consider them as the best practices and the best projects that were submitted that gave a solution to some of the key problems that were plaguing their state. So, could you please also highlight about the motive of, uh, behind, uh, you know, uh, organizing such events? So, like I said, we, we're very keen to actually uh, encouraging students' uh, scientific spirit, creativity, um, capacity to problem solve when a problem is posed to them. Uh, those are the kind of things that we wanted to encourage, uh, you know, through this program. And um, science is something that is very close to our heart. Uh, we know other subjects can also have the same impact, but science is something that's very close to our heart. And we wanted to, uh, you know, encourage the whole concept of scientific spirit and inquiry and that's why uh, you know we, we created the science hackathon for students and we were really amazed at the participation we have we just opened it to around 100 schools around 1300 ch children actually participated in the first round and it was very difficult for us to determine who would go to the next and the next round. So, uh, yeah, so the, kind of to say that, uh, you know, how students can think scientifically and actually present scientifically and how they do when they come in front of a large crowd to present, that itself is a skill, communication. So looking at, you know, not only scientific spirit, but also to encourage their 21st century skills of communication, of being able to vocalize themselves in front of a large crowd. Those are the kind of things also that we wanted to promote and encourage. Could you please also say something about Bhumi Educational Consultancy and the work? Yeah, sure. Bhumi is a K-12 focus uh, you know, organization and our specific purpose is to uh, work with state governments, uh, particularly with students uh, we're a very student focused organization we work with students with teachers with administrators with the state education department uh, to design and develop as well as implement uh, you know very successful and um, data driven uh, programs uh, which are which you know which are uh, very high impact 
So our all our work is actually data based, and we are always striving to prove through data that uh, how you know the program is progressing. On the other hand, our aim is definitely to ensure that students, um, you know, uh, learn through uh, activities. It's not only uh, it's, uh, we don't believe that you know testing is something that should be focused. I mean, you know, data is not, not, not really, when we say data, you know, the first thing when we talk about education, the first thing that we think about data is test result. You know, that's not really what we are going after. We actually collect data from multiple sources. We look at data from multiple sources. We look at everyday, uh, you know, uh, everyday work of the student. We look at practice at home. We look, of course, look at exams. That's, of course, one part of it. But then that's not the holistic. We look at the holistic development of the child. We look at how they're progressing over time. And we see, you know, what they were and what they are right now is something that we keep uh, you know, uh, registering without the stress. So there is this very beautiful app that we have developed called Neve, through which we, which is adaptive by nature. So it adapts itself. It's an AI-based app, which adapts itself to the learning level of the child. So what we do is, when a student has completed a session in school, we tell them to go back home and practice through that app. So what happens then is, immediately as the child finishes chapters in the school and he practices on the app, um, immediately we are, you know, in the back end, we are continuously, you know, understanding how the child is doing. So continuous and comprehensive evaluation is happening of the child without the child getting stressed out about the examination part. So that is something. So we look at both, we have a hybrid uh, learning model in which we look at offline as well as online learning. And we use technology to the best of our ability where students are concerned so that, you know, students can also learn in an offline mode as well as in an online mode. So are there any such programs for future, particularly for the state of Sikkim? Yes, yes, absolutely. We are very, very strict. Sikkim is the first state that we started working in. So we are working right now in Meghalaya and Mizoram also uh, and Bhopal. So, uh, so for me, Sikkim has a very special place in our heart. It's like, like I keep saying, it's home away from home for us. So um, there are like several programs like this. We will keep doing, you know, these kind of interesting, uh, particularly hands-on competitions in which students will be asked to solve certain, uh, you know, real-life problems. We are very, very keen on that, you know, that education needs to extend into real life. It can't just be something uh, that's you know only in textbooks it's not that for us it's it's that can I if I'm looking at landslides can I then actually extend my understanding when a question is being asked about certain things to extend my understanding into real life problems that are being posed to me which is something was at the heart of the hackathon that we had planned that landslide in Sikkim is common but how much as a student do we know how much do we know how to you know uh, solve this issue how much do we know about mitigation so so those are the kind of things that we were uh, looking at.